Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. I've been playing around with everything, trying to get the best, like, lighting. I hate that. Like, these are supposed to be anti-glare glasses, and they're just not. So, I'm going to do it like this. It'll be fine, I promise. This is my May... No, today's May 1st. So, this is my April, what I got through in April for candles and melts and there's a shit ton i got through a lot so um let's get started candles and some of these i burned down here in my office some upstairs in my living room so i did actually get through more than i normally would but that's fine i have from krishna creations easter basket and honeysuckle gummy bear both of these were amazing um the easter basket one was yum and then I did get through a Grinch pudding, which is pistachio pudding cake. Um, this one, the wick decided to drown itself out like almost at the end and I couldn't perform enough surgery to fix it. Um, and then it, this is from Fired Up Candles. This was Vanilla Bean Noel. Not as strong of a Vanilla Bean Noel as I normally like, but it was still really good. Um, and Vanilla Bean Noel is harder to make. Super strong anyway. Meow. Um, and then I did get through Fired Up Candles. This is Fountain of Youth. This scent is amazing. Uh, she introduced it to me through a loaf. Around that time, this was from October. I know. And then I'm like, I need a candle. And she's like, I have the perfect jar for you. So I bought it because it's pretty. So this was really good. It performed really well. <laughs> now that that's distracting over, that was my candles. And I am kind of going off of my uh, little list next to me so that I can, I have scent descriptions available so, melts I got through. Oh, God. Okay, sweet sage scents, apple butter caramel, and salty sea air. And this was my first time melting these. They were good. Um, let's see. Yeah, they both were very strong. The apple butter caramel had a very good creamy type scent to it. So I've got Krishna Creations Red Lipstick. This was a butterfly that I hoarded for a while. I don't know how old it was, but yum, yum, and yum. And then, you know, I'm going to get it into some of these that I didn't purchase that were sent to me in a swap, but I've been very much enjoying trying some of these new-to-me vendors like this. Uh, this is Little Olive Tree Company. This is it's called Sweetbread. It's baked bread, raspberry jam, and cotton candy. Okay, yeah, I didn't get much scent on this one either on cold or while melting. The mix of scents I'm sure would have been really good together, but it just really, I really just didn't get a scent. The Posh Olive or Posh Olive. This is American Princess. No, Amazon Princess, Serendipity, and Snow Cone Mix, I think. I don't know if yeah, like if that's the name or what, but um, like it's in one of their bags with one of their labels, so I don't know. Um, it smelled really good. The serendipity was dominant, and all the scents like blended together really nicely. And I don't normally like snow cone or snow fairy, so that worked out great. Um, vintage chic scents. I've never purchased. I've had a few sent to me in swaps or um, in random acts of kindness and things like that. This one was Lavender Tangerine. I actually very much liked this one. Sorry. I don't know why I yawn every time I talk to you guys. This is Sassy Girl Aroma Hot Apple Pie. This one was very strong too. It took over like the entire upstairs of my house. So uh, next up we have Wicked Wax of the East, and there's a lot of these, so I'll go through them a little bit. Um, Pink Berry and Tonka, yum, I love this one. Her, All her scents perform well for me. I don't 
generally have any issues with them. Candy apple. This was a different, it's not like the candied apple. This was a different apple and I very much liked that one because it, it didn't, it was more like a, yeah, an actual candy. Uh, this is green Irish tweed. That one, that scent is just okay to me, no matter who makes it. Pink sugar. Uh, Randy definitely has a very, very strong pink sugar scent. So she hates pouring them, but she's good at it. I have clean cotton. This one, uh, both of the warmers that I use this on, it smelled literally all day. And even when I came down after I shut it off the next day, you could still smell this scent. So this was super strong and amazing. And it was poured in November, so it, not that old. God damn it. Uh, rock candy. This one I didn't like. It was too minty for me. I just didn't like the mintiness of it. Vanilla Bee Noel. You guys know I love my Vanilla Bee Noel. I don't know if I just used too strong of a warmer or what, but this one wasn't very strong to me at all. Damn cat. Okay, I'm still looking at this because I've got Everlast Everlasting Gobstopper from her uh, Willy Wonka sampler. This was peppermint, tea berry, wintergreen, spearmint, lemon, caramel, and vanilla. No, I didn't like it. This was done in my son's roommate. He loved it. It was super strong. Major West Loves Taffy. Yes, this is an old one. It is from July of 2017. This was a superhero loaf. And the scent is actually Tooth Fairy Taffy. This was really strong. And like, it really had that sweetness to it. French Vanilla Tea and Cakes. This was a huge bat that I cut up. This one was pretty good too. I swear to God. Okay, I have Red Velvet Cake. Yum. Uh, cherry, Cherry Crumb Pie. Her cherry to me does not have the chemical smell. Sometimes you get that chemical smell from cherries. Chocolate Orchard, also a super duper good one. Super duper. Um, this one's also from Willy Wonka. The snozberries taste like snozberries. And it is a fruity combination of sour cherries, flat, fresh blueberry, and ripened raspberry. So this one was good. I liked this one. And now we're getting into some of these new-to-me vendors. So um, this is Ramble on Wax. This was Fairy Feast. I could not find the scent description for it. My notes say it was super strong. And I liked the, I liked the scent. This is 30 Street in Gingerbread Rose. I don't know what... Uh, the scent description was it was a creamy gingerbread scent. It wasn't really strong. Empire Alchemy. Uh, this was a very new to me vendor. And this Black Hearts, which is Fizzy Pop. No, Blackberry, Lavender, and Fizzy Pop. Was awesome. This was amazing. It was strong. It was fizzy. It was Blackberry-ish. It was so good. I also had... Bourbon, pecan, pumpkin pie, not my scent, but it was uh, very strong. Dapper Dash Hounds in Lavender Soda. It performed well, but I don't know if I really liked the scent. Like, I don't, it was almost lavender and fizzy pop. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I don't know. That's not on me. I'm like, that's not my cup of tea. Fired Up Candles, Holly Berry Mistletoe. It's from August. I don't care what you say. I will melt that scent. Melt. See how I did. Any time of the year. Also from Fired Up, I have Kiwi Strawberry, Caramelized Pralines, Berry Vanilla, and Berry Bliss. The only thing was is the Berry Bliss wasn't as strong as I had hoped. God! It's got to be the, when I turn the lights down. When I turn the lights down low. Hillbilly Wax. This was a new to me vendor also. I did uh, purchase a sampler. This was blue sugar. Okay, it's Southern Martini. Blue sugar, kick-ass blackberry, blackberry, and a touch of lemon. I have since learned that kick-ass blackberry is actually a scent that you can purchase. I don't know why they call it that because honestly it's not that strong to me. Um, when I was melting this one, I got the lemon more than the blackberry. 
and I almost got all blue sugar, which is totally fine. So it was almost like blue sugar lemon. So, all right, see, and I made little piles in front of me. I got some Zape, Zeep, Zayap, I don't know. Uh, let's see, I've got California Girl, cream, coconut cream, sweet strawberries, toasted marshmallow, and fluffy white cake. Um, it was a good scent mixed together, but I really, like, I had to stick my face into my warmer in order to get a, an actual scent from it. And then American Pie Crisp Sweet Mac Apples with ripe, juicy blackberries topped with vanilla ice cream and whipped cream. That one was strong with the blueberry being dominant, but it all blended together super good to make it creamy. The Purple Fox Yabba Dabba. There was no, I couldn't find a scent description on it. My notes say it smelled really good. It was about a medium throw or medium scent. Rockets Candle Company. I had a little itty bitty scent shot. My finger wasn't cooperating. And Sugar Cookie. This sugar cookie, um, what did I, oh yeah, it smelled more like gingerbread cookies to me. I've had Rockets in the past and it's generally pretty strong, but I don't know. That one just smelled more like sugar cookie or um, gingerbread. Rose Girls, I got through Sugar Milk Pumpkin Pie Milkshake. This is not a scent that I normally would have purchased. I decided to take a chance on it because the scent description sounded really good. And I like sugar milk scents. I'm glad that I did because I actually very much liked this. The pumpkin pie wasn't like a dominant in there, so it was pretty creamy. Then I have sweet sandalwood lavender smoothie. This was also really, really good. That one I, I kind of, again, took a chance on and I'm glad that I did because I liked it. Next up, we have Hayden Road. This is Rocket Pop. And it says lemon lime, blue raspberry, and a pop of cherry. Okay, yep, this wasn't as strong as I would have hoped. The cherry was the dominant scent. And I've had a couple of Hayden Rose before. And it was where it was good. So I don't know if it was just that scent. Southbound Soap. This is Serendipity Lemon Cake. So it had pink sugar, serendipity, and sweet lemon palm cake. Loved it. Oh yeah, okay. I was just kind of reading. Okay, so the serendipity and the pink sugar were more dominant than the lemon. So the lemon kind of just had a hint in there. That one was really good. Savory Scents, Cranberry Spice. Really, it's not my cup of tea. I did melt it anyway. Uh, but it didn't have much scent to it. It was really, really light. Okay, the Bunny Sisters. This is coconut milk and lavender. Yes, please. I need more. They had their scent, like it threw like crazy. It was great. Okay, I've got a couple from Abby Lane. I have Grape Blow Pop and Snow Fairy. Yeah, the Snow Fairy was strong, but the Grape Blow Pop, I tried two different warmers, two different types, and I got nothing. I really just got nothing out of it. Okay, so Creative Enchantment is up next. I know this is going to be long because I, like I said, I got through a ton of wax and it's mostly because I did melt a lot of the ones that were sent to me and they were just like partial bags. So yeah. Okay. First off I have candy basket. Uh, yes, I need more. It wasn't as strong, like as knock, kick you in the face as I would have loved it to be, but that's probably just my opinion. I got Cedar and Spice was another one. That was actually really good. I was surprised that I liked that one. Lavender Sage. Her Lavender Sage is really good. She uses like the herbal type lavender. And then Mulberry Woods. My husband is obsessed with the scent and says I don't have enough of it. Little does he know, I hope he doesn't watch this, that I have some stockpiled. And no, he can't have it. All right, next up. Okay, this was another one. Wax House Melts. I did get through. She's no longer open. <coughs> Excuse me. This is Dancing Clowns. It was inspired by Pennywise. It's Bite Me, Satsuma, and Rose Jam. Okay. So it literally, like, they blended extremely well together. You couldn't, like, one wasn't dominant over the other. It just, it was really good. Nichols was the next one from Inspired by Orange is the New Black. Linen, flannel sheets, and soft bubbles. This one was super duper strong. 
The first time I melted this, I had it going in my kitchen and they're like, she does like round cupcakes. I had it going in my kitchen and I believe my husband was making steak and it did not, like the food and this did not go together. But then the next time we melted it in the living room and in the bathroom and it was amazing. My husband told me to get more, but fortunately she is no longer open. So the person who did a swap with me knows that I love this one. This is Super Tarts. It's from Once Upon a Time. It's Serendipity Ice Cream Scoop Bread and Marshmallow. God, I love it. Love, love, love it. Somebody sent me a clamshell of it in a swap like a while ago and I fell in love. But she knew I liked it so she sent me some. Alright, next up we've got little pony wax creations. I have Blonde Moment and Bahama Fizz. Oh, there was a sunshot. Rarity, Blue, uh, Raspberry, Jolly Rancher, and Berry Crush. I, Her scents don't work for me. I wish that they did, like this Rarity one. This one was strong and nice, and I loved the the combination, which is sweet lavender, pink sugar, and vanilla. Um, but I didn't get much out of any of the other scents at all. And her wax has kind of a like chemically chemical smell to it to me. And I just don't care for that. Sorry, I had to put my glasses on. So <laughs> whatever. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I've got Chloe and me. Salted caramel cookie dough. Yum. I melted this one time in the bedroom. Bad idea. Christmas butterscotch cookies. Also yum. Not in the bedroom. And these were like little um like plates with a turkey. Oh my god, they were so cute. This is chocolate chip cookie dough. Also made the mistake of doing this in the bedroom. One time this was a huge bear. I hated to cut him up. I did start with his head because I thought that'd be fun. Mac apple vanilla bean noel. I actually very much like this one. Shocked. Pumpkin spice vanilla bean noel. Not my favorite. And Vivian medley. I don't really know what it was. Honestly, I didn't like it, but that's not Stacy's fault. It's mine. I'm going on 20 minutes. So I have one little, like, thing to go. I'm going to go quick. Sunday brunch, uh, scented squirrel. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pecan waffles. And bourbon soaked raisins. I don't like her labels because they're too small to read, even with my bifocals on my face. Uh, I also... I really want to like the wax, but it doesn't work for me. I know it works for other people, but I get, like, hardly any scent out of it. The Bathing gar Garden, this was Pagan Moon. I don't have the scent description in front of me. I realize I can't really do that because then, yeah, you guys don't want to watch me for this long. But this was a good one. I've got She Loves Cake, Traditional Mellow Christmas. Not my favorite because it was spiced citrus, oranges, vanilla, and fluffy marshmallow. I didn't care for the citrus. This little scent shot, however, in Princess Berry, yum, yum, yum. See, it is. I am out of focus, aren't I? I thought it was just my eyes. Sorry about that. See what happens when I don't wear my glasses? Eritrea's Air, Sailor Moon. And then it just says blue sugar. Yeah, I don't know. Scarlet Rain Caramello Cookies. <sighs> I used to love this scent. I used to love Scarlet Rain, but I feel like everything is not as strong as it used to be, and I wish that it was. Blended with love, peppermint coffee, and toasted marshmallows. There was no mint in this whatsoever. It wasn't very strong. Designer wax, lavender, strawberry, and buttercream. I think I remember this being really good. Geo and Turner, Fruit Loops and Buttercream, and Pumpkin Brulee. The Pumpkin Brulee smelled like burnt apple pie to me. And the Fruit Loops and Buttercream, I didn't really get anything out of. Frankie Scents, this was Pink Cotton Candy. I had this gem laying around. Any of her scents, I love Frankie's. Blank Label Be Our Guest, this one also had nothing to it to me. I didn't, I just didn't get anything. Fat Wax, or for the, for the love of wax. This was Kick-Ass Blackberry. I, again, don't know why they call it that. This was really good and performed well. Charo from Flaming Star Scents. Fresh baked bread of vanilla butter cookies. Yum. That was a good one. I, I ordered some, or I melted some from my Das 
Duce Wax Haas. This was a sample in brown sugar and fig. Holy, it was strong. Very, very strong. And it was cured on the 27th and I melted it before that and it was still strong. Destination Wax, <coughs> excuse me, Passion Fruit and Guava. I did not like it, but it was really strong. Lucy's Candles and Melts. This was Sweetgrass. This one was just okay. Like it wasn't super strong. Cottage Face Scents, Rainbow Sherbet. This was a good one. Wiki Wiki Wax. This was Cool Water Wax Melt. I'm pretty sure that this was supposed to be the cologne. It says cure date was 510. I, I got nothing out of it, unfortunately. No scent throw there. And this little weird one, and this is, you guys, it's very, very, very important. If you own a company and it's a wax company, even if it is a sample that you're giving out for free, please make sure to put your name on it because somebody like me might get it in a swap or a random act of kindness, and we have no idea who this is. So, unfortunately, I didn't like this one. There was no scent to it. So, I can't give, you know, credit or non-credit to this vendor because I have no idea who it was. Anyway, sorry so long. Trying to do di things different. Obviously didn't work. I'll just do my run through like I did previous months, but everything will be where you can see it if you want to see the scent description. So thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, thank you for bearing with me. Have a wonderful day.